Hey guys, welcome back to Fisherman Norby. Today we're going to be calibrating the Garmin Force trolling motor, uh, setting the GPS so your spot lock works. In my previous video, I showed you how to connect your foot pedal to the Garmin Force. So if you haven't seen that and need to learn how, it's super simple, go watch it. Uh, but we're gonna be connecting the trolling motor to spot locker, the anchor button today. So what you need to do, you need to get your remote Mine was already connected to my trolling motor when it, I got it in the box. So the first thing we're doing, we're doing the bow offset. What you do, you go in your remote, you hit those three bars, and then you go to settings. We're gonna go to settings here real quick. Right there, and then when you get to settings, we're gonna go to trolling motor. And then we're going to go down to calibrate and then we're going to go down to bow offset and what we do is we put the trolling motor pointing straight forward just like that so from the center of your boat hole that's where you want the trolling motor pointed and we are right there right now so we just set the bow offset by pressing the down button on the remote Next step, we're going to calibrate the trolling motor. So to do this, we have to be in an open area on the remote. Again, go to your settings, and then we're going to go uh, over to trolling motor again. Then we're going to go down to calibrate and compass. So this is setting the GPS. It says, on your remote, turn the boat slowly in two full circles. Keep the boat level and steady while turning. So I'm going to turn up my speed and we're just going in two complete circles right now and it's calibrating the gps go with a, a 90 degree angle from the center of your boat and we should be good yes. all right guys so you can see it going up as we're going in full circles here we're at 83 percent and it's quickly rising to 100 percent all right compass calibrated so two steps make sure your remote synced like I said mine already came synced to my trolling motor you can do that by moving it around and then you're going to calibrate your bow offset and your compass then you're good to hit spot lock it's going to keep you right there and something that's supposed to be really cool about the Garmin force trolling motor is when you spot lock on a day where it's not windy like today it doesn't jerk you all over the place like my Ultrex did so excited to learn more about it and use this troll motor again make sure you subscribe to my youtube channel to see how it works and watch us catch some giants let's get out of here we'll catch you next time on fishing with norby